Hello, everyone. I hope that everyone enjoys my new intro. I, I worked hard on that. Um, if you didn't get to hear it, I suggest you rewind and, and listen to it because it is very original. Hey, Cecilian. Um, somebody had said, I wish you had like a, a 30 second intro or something the other day. So I know that wasn't 30 seconds, but it was an intro. Okay. Um, so did an intro. Hey, Beverly. Hey, Bad Medicine. Hey, I already said hey to you, Cecilia. Never mind. Never mind. Y'all, I got some, I got some awesome news and then I got some, I don't know news. Okay. Um, awesome news is baby Nuxie is home. He is home, y'all. For the next two months, he's home. He is home, home, home. At his home. Like, in his home. In his little bassinet. At his house. With his mama and daddy. And his baby sister. Or his big sister. Um, And this was her first time getting to meet him. And she was so excited. Oh my god, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So, yes. Baby Nuxie is home for the next two months. Uh, he does still have... Uh, an issue that he has to go back for. They want to wait until he's, you know, three months old and kind of, you know, because he's almost a month old now. Um, so they want to just, you know, make sure that he does okay at home and things like that before they take on this next journey. But all I care about right now is that he's home. He is home. Hey, Carol. You too, honey. Thank you for stopping in. Yes, little sandwich is home. He is. He is home, y'all. Now, for the, I don't know, not so, I mean, I've been neglecting it because I knew, I, like, I had to get stuff ready to, like, go visit him or stay the night if I needed to or whatever. But um, Cruella DeVille over here, which is the pitcher plant, uh, she's not looking too good. Hey, Wandering Spirit. Thank you for coming in. Hello, Make It Make Sense. Thank you for coming in. Um, yes. Yeah, so, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I'm following all the instructions. Actually, you know what? I didn't use distilled water. Ooh, that might be it. I'm not sure. Anyway, one of the pitcher plants little uh flowers with the cap on it is turning black so i'm obviously not doing a good job with that one and that makes me sad because y'all know i want everything to grow so big and like oh look what i did but that one's yeah uh, maybe she just needs a bigger pot i'm not sure at this point um i'm getting kind of sad about that but hopefully Gosh, I forgot the whole distilled water thing. Uh, guys, when you have a carnivorous plant, you can only use distilled water to water them. And me of all people should have known that, but I was just in a hurry and I was like, I don't know how long I'll be gone because I didn't know if I was going to have to stay the night, you know, whatever. And so I just watered her. And yeah, I don't, I shouldn't have done that. God, I shouldn't have done that, but it's all right. So. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't use distilled water on the pitcher plant. And uh, if you'll read any carnivorous plant, you're supposed to use uh, distilled water. And I didn't do that. Yes, you're absolutely right, Sicilian. I mean, I, I just was like, water, 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 because I don't know if I'm going to be back for a week, a month, and I don't really care, to be honest. So everybody got some water and got put in their little place and... 
you know, you know, that's just kind of how it went. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so if Cruella doesn't make it, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm one of them stubborn ass people, so I'll probably get another one just to prove I can do it. Then it'll be after, uh, baby sandwich or baby Nuxie, whatever y'all want to call him, um, gets, you know, in a rhythm because he just came home yesterday. So it won't be till way after that, that I get another one. Uh, but hopefully this one I can resurrect. I don't know. We'll see y'all. We'll see. We shall see. So that's the things I wanted to um, give you updates on that. Uh, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying like my grandson is home. Like I really can't. Okay. I really can't. I can't believe he's home. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I actually seen him there. Like in his bassinet, he's home. Um, and I will say this, I have a new respect for mothers, grandmothers, not that I didn't respect them at first. I don't want it to make it sound that way. Um, I always had this like soft spot in my heart for mothers that I would see like with their babies in the NICU and stuff like that. But I just have a newfound respect because that shit, excuse my language, is, is very hard. Hey, Faithy Poo. Like, it, it's really hard. You know, leaving there every day without your child or your grandchild, like, that's really, really hard. Um, so, for anybody out there suffering, y'all hang on. Okay, that's cool. When my dog, I mean, tears your foot up, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, yes, bad medicine. Oh, my Lord. And, and the thing is, is he was wrapped up. So cute. Uh, he had this little, uh, like, wrap on him, and then he had a big crocheted carrot that was, like, stuck down in there. So it looked like a little Easter thing or whatever. <laughs> It was so cute. I can't tell you how cute. Happy Easter to everyone. Y'all know I'll be up late tonight because the boys know that. I mean, I think they know I'm the Easter bunny. Like, I, I don't think they're like. Thank you. always pick that's my son and he always pick to call me can anybody hear me i hope so gosh why does he do that i mean he oh oh bad medicine i thought you were saying to me make it make sense i was like I don't know. What did I say? What did I say that don't make sense? Because I say a lot of shit that don't make sense. I know that. But, um, but yes, yeah, so he will be home for Easter. And, I, of course, I have to stay up very late tonight because uh, I have to do, like, it's fun for me, y'all. It, it really is. Um, you know, I, at this point in time, am I still cutting out bad I don't want to keep going if I'm uh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. As far as my other six children go, they also get a little Easter basket for me. It's full of like, the, and I don't mean to say like they're just extra, but like all the extras that I have left out of the bags of candy and all that stuff, you know, they get that and then I'll have like a $20 egg in them. So I still do eight Easter baskets. Still, I don't care if they're married and got kids, grandkids. It don't matter to me. But um, I don't know. I just enjoy doing it. I enjoy just like I bitch about Christmas Eve having to wrap everything. But 
I enjoy it, you know, because it's, it's like the look on their face. And, you know, um, I was speaking to someone earlier today. Hey, you seen it before. Happy Easter weekend, babe. How's that grandbaby? Um, but I was speaking to somebody earlier and I was like, you know, uh, for some reason, tubes tied and all. You know, I, I, if I didn't, if I would learn to stop having children, I would be an empty nester right now because all my older kids have moved out and they're all getting married and all this stuff. But no, I had to wait 13, 15 years and then have two more. And so, you know, and uh, I guess what she said is true. God said, no, nope, you ain't done. So, you know. Yeah, I make it make sense, and and that's what I'm saying is like, you know, I'm I'm in my I might as well say my late forties now because this year I'll be considered late forties, um, and I have two young kids, uh, and bitch about it or not, like I still enjoy it, and I know I'll miss it, because if I still do it for my six older kids, even though it's a tiny little basket, but they know to show up. And get their tiny little Easter baskets every year. Valentine's Day, I do the same thing. All eight of them. Get a little heart box candy and a little stuffed animal. All of them. Um, so, it, it's, it, it, I don't know. I enjoy it. So, I know if I do it for them still, that I am going to miss having children at home. You know, I, maybe I'll just subconsciously I didn't want to be an empty nester till I'm 60 ish maybe I don't know but okay honey okay I got you I got you just know that we're all sending you uh love prayers good juju good vibes good everything that we believe in okay we're sending that all to you seen it for baby okay Well, uh, Cecilia and I call them my babies. I, I don't care if they're, I mean, hell, one's almost 28. I still call him my baby. He's my baby. I mean, he's the, the father of uh, a baby sandwich, but he's still my baby. You know? Oh, here we go. Oh. Bad medicine, I I do the same. But what I did learn, oh, Lord, I don't do, well, first of all, I'm not paying $9.18 to get a carton of eggs just to hide, and then they forget half of them, and then for two months, I just smell complete sewage fart smell when I walk around my yard because I can't find them. I just do the plastic ones now because they... Uh, all it takes is one good windstorm or thunderstorm, and you can come out here and you find them all over the ground. And it's like, okay, there's all the eggs. Y'all get them. You know, it just is what it is. But, mm -mm. no, I'm not going through all that. And, you know, it it, it makes you wonder, okay, because the egg die, I have never veered away from getting like, a lot of times I just use food coloring, but it's gone up so much in price. I'm like, no, nah, I'll just buy the little, it's a, I don't know how to pronounce it, P-A-A-S or, or whatever, pause, uh, little kit with the little, you know, you got the little tablets in there. You drop in the cup with the vinegar and water and all that stuff. Um, why is it that eggs have gone up? tremendously but them little kits right there are still like a dollar ninety nine why is that you know what I mean I don't get that and I damn sure ain't gonna pay you know almost eight dollars for a box of food coloring when I used to get it for two something I'm just not gonna do it I'm not and maybe I'm just being a cheapskate Oh, I hate peeps. Oh, Cecilia and I hate peeps. Oh, my God, I'm a gag just thinking about them. Just the texture of them. That grittiness with the marshmallow. Uh, uh, I can't. 
No peeps for me. I don't even buy my boys peeps at all. Because just, I don't know. Looking at them, it's like, oh, my God. How they're going to make a marshmallow with, like, crunchy sugar on the, uh uh-uh. No, that don't mix. Yeah, so Sue and I, well, now I don't know if this is true or not. So if anybody in the chat knows, um, I heard that uh, one of the major chicken factories had burned down. This wasn't recently. This was probably a year ago or two. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that's real or not or true or whatever. So if any of y'all know, um, and if that's the case, I mean, that explains it and I get it. But, I mean, my goodness. You know, uh, Tucker's fiance, Michael, he gets free eggs. Uh, he has a friend that has his own chickens. And so Michael gets, uh, he, he saves the same little boxes, and he gets 36 eggs a week. And they don't pay anything for them. You know what I mean? But I will also tell y'all, um... I love a boiled egg. Like, I love a boiled egg. So, it makes me mad that they cost so much because I like just boiling them, like, any day of the week and cutting them in half and putting salt and pepper on them. And I, I mean, I I do overindulge. I'll eat six, seven of them in one day. I love boiled eggs. Love them. But I'm not going to pay $9. I'm just not. I'm not going to do that. Well, they have it here, Sicilian. Hey, Tater. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Oh, you two, stop it. Oh, ooh, these children, I swear. So, how has y'all's uh, weekend been so far? I know it's only Saturday, but yesterday was a holiday, so most people should have been home. Uh, I didn't have to do school yesterday. Ah, yay, yay me. But uh, my grandson did come home, so that kind of worked out great. Um, and what are y'all's Easter plans? I'll be honest with you, um, as much as I love to cook, um, it's a little warm around here, and in the summertime, I tend to do less oven things, more stove top things. Um, so I don't know, and not to mention the little boys, they don't like. I think I might just do a ham in the oven and get some Hawaiian rolls, and we'll just do ham rolls, you know. And maybe make some potato salad or, or something like that. Nothing too extravagant. Because Christmas takes me eight days to cook. Well, if you want to count me making the dressing and actually putting it in the freezer, then it's like mm, three weeks. Because I make it like two weeks ahead of time. And I put it in the freezer, covered up so it can all like, melt together and get all the taste in there and all that stuff but yeah I think I'm just gonna do a, a spiral ham and some uh, Hawaiian rolls maybe some potato salad uh I'm trying to think I don't know chips just potato chips Oh, Cecilian you speak in my language now girl you know every Sunday Cecilian <clears throat> my uh my grandma that's what we called her she's the one from new york um she would make uh baked ziti or lasagna every sunday every single sunday uh, once they moved to alabama and it was the first time i'd ever had baked ziti or lasagna she would have um the meatballs the sausage uh pork chops or some, some sort of pork. Like, there was so much meat in that thing. Hey, Blacks. How you doing, baby daddy? 
uh, Cecilian, have you ever heard of that? Because I've always wondered if that was just something she made up or what, because she, believe it or not, she was German and Italian. And so, yeah, she would have like, I mean, and it would be, I have her lasagna pan. I'm so honored to have it. And when I say this pan is like big as like um, half a car, it's like the biggest pan I've ever seen in my life that you can bake something in. Yeah, yeah, she would have uh, the sausage, the meat, the but the meatballs weren't like perfect circle meatballs. It was just kind of meatballs that she would put in there, but it would cook so long that it would be balls of meat, but you knew it was a meatball when you ate it because the way she mixed the meat, You just if that makes any sense. And um, there'd be pork chops, there'd be Italian sausage, the, the meatball meat. I mean, it was just, it was an overflowing pan of goodness. Yes, she made it from scratch. Hey, Penny and Bella's mama. She made all of it from scratch like that. She did. And she, that's that's why I said, y'all, I, I got the best of both worlds because my, my daddy's mom uh, she's from a little town in Alabama that had like 612 people. So uh, she had a farm and a gar like a garden you would not believe. So I learned how to can and shell peas and pick this and pick that and cook it this way and cook it that way. But on the flip side of that, once my mom's parents moved to Alabama, I learned. Can y'all hear me now? Good gosh. Y'all hang on. Let me tell my husband to call him. Hey, can you call Derek? He keeps calling and I'm live. And every time he does that, it kicks me from my own lives. I mean, God. Oh, my. Because uh, I know what he's going to ask and it's not that important. Like, it's really not that important, y'all. I mean, I appreciate it because I know he's going to say, uh, do y'all need a cigarette run to, so I can earn $20 for gas? At least he tries to do something, you know, to get help or whatever. And I get that. But quit calling me while I'm live, man. All right. Make it make sense. Uh, make it make sense. Do you mean... Not not too personal. Do you mean your own moms or is there somebody else live? Because, you know, I don't ever like to cut into time like that. Come on. What? What's your uncle's name? Jack. Okay, couldn't let y'all hear his last name. Sorry. You know, you know how they get too posy. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, make it make sense. I hope it gets better, honey. See, now I feel bad because he wasn't even. He wasn't even asking for nothing like that. He's he's trying to get a better job. Oh, okay. Okay. I got you. We'll make it make sense. Uh, you can reach out to me and email if you just need to vent or anything like that. Uh, people in this chat can tell you if you send me an email, I promise you I get back with you. Uh, and I, I think I do it pretty quickly, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, if you just got something you need to just get off your chest. And I don't tell anybody anything people says to me in email. I just don't do that. 
and people can vouch for that as well in the chat. I don't, I don't say nothing at all. So if you ever need somebody just to vent to or just get it off your chest, email me anytime you want to, honey. So I've got to quit smoking, y'all. I've got to. I've got to quit smoking, but hell, at this time, I mean, I think I'm 45. Hell, I might be already 46. Y'all, I don't know. Yes, make it make sense. Anytime, honey, anytime you need it. And I mean that. Nothing will ever get shared. I promise you that. Oh, I didn't even realize my little picture was still the the little. Did y'all look that up, by the way? I don't know if y'all did or not. Y'all know I ain't telling no bullshit over here. That's what that flower is called. Because I know y'all thought I was crazy, but I'm not. I mean, I am, but. You know. Oh, y'all want to say something? Do y'all remember. Uh, Last time I showed you my little succulents that were hanging on the fence, and I was like, oh, I see some little new growth, and, uh, yes, blacks, girl, you know I'm all about recipes up in here, honey, all about them, and if, if anybody wants to sub up, uh, please sub up to her channel, because she puts easy recipes out there, which y'all know I'm all about that, all about that. Um, and so, yeah, you can, and, it, and it's very simple. You don't have to, you know, sit in no two hour live to hear the recipe. You just look at it. You can, you can screenshot it. It's so easy because I don't screenshot it a few. I'll be honest. <laughs> what flower? Bad medicine. Well, no, this, uh, the watch chain thing or the Buddhist temple, hell, y'all, I can't remember. Don't, don't, don't hold me to stuff, please, okay? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, I got the camera right. Okay, y'all look how big that thing's gotten. And see, it's going toward the sun now. But if I stand it up, look how tall it is now. And then this one right here, the foliage gems that I said, oh, it's got a little new growth. Look at it now, y'all, with all this. And then I got uh, Cruella out here. Look, this is what I'm talking about. What, wait, where'd you go? See, Cruella, this little flower is turning black. But her leaves are beautiful. It's just like the little uh, cup is turning black. So I, I don't know what to do about that, y'all. But as you can see, she's very healthy. Like the rest of her is very healthy. It's just the little, you know, the cups that I'm worried about. But yeah, that's the foliage gems. And y'all can go back on my videos and look how small it was. But it's going everywhere. So I'm expecting flowers. And I can't wait for y'all to see the flowers because they're little clusters of what they call wax flowers. They're so beautiful. And then Big Daddy right there. And then I've got also my bucket here. And I know y'all can't see this, but like right here, it looks like hair. That's roots coming up from something that I don't even know. Like there's stuff just growing in there. I don't even know what's growing in there, y'all. There's a piece of the, uh, whatchamacallit, there's a piece of the Hobbit Jade. That Hobbit Jade is getting too big for its pot, by the way. So I'm going to have to get a bigger pot for that. But I didn't think it was going to grow that fast. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty darn big. They're all doing very well. Very well. Except for this Lifesaver Cactus. And <clears throat> the only reason it's not doing well is because some little white dog with uh, brindle spots and big teeth loves to come out here and knock it over. I don't know why. Do you want to go in, sir? 
go in. Yeah, because I was talking about you. Sure was. So I don't know why he likes that one so much, but every time he comes out, he finds that one and he takes his face and he just shoves it off the porch. So I have to repot it just about every day. Um, seen it before. Succulents would be perfect. Uh, morning glories are great. Absolutely, they are. I just look. I just bought this huge box, y'all, from Dollar General, just because it was there and it was on clearance. Um, a zinnia seeds, and when I say a huge box, I mean huge box. And then another one called butterfly mix. You know what I did? Came out here, I raked up like the leaves around the tree. And then I just kind of like took my little fork thing and just did whatever and just took the whole box and threw it out there around the tree. That's, that's all I did with it. So, oh, uh, saying it before, then you need to get you, um, it's called a fuchsia. Uh, they are hanging plants that stay on your porch. You don't have to bring them in. Um, and they're perfect for sunshine in the daytime and then not so much in the afternoon. But they also call them ballerina dancers. And they are beautiful. Um, they are pink and purple. And the petals of the flowers, the pink, grow upwards. The purple grow downwards. And then, like, the stamen of it are long. So it looks like little legs that are coming out of the skirt of the purple flower. So it looks like a little ballerina dancer. But if you'll look up a uh, fuchsia, a fuchsia plant, that's what it's called. And they are very showy, very, so are bleeding hearts. Yes. Definitely get a fuchsia. And those, I know you can source locally because they're, they're at Lowe's. They're wherever. And they are absolutely beautiful. I'm not picking on him, Sicilian. Look, now he wants back out. He just keeps knocking over my plant for no reason. And, I mean, you know, move so. Come on. Come on, you know you're welcome out, but you got to go down and play. He's, oh, he's such a big baby. Big baby. That's what we call him, big baby. Yeah, big baby. Oh, I love hollyhocks. Love hollyhocks. And, um, Lori, if you rewatch this, um, I think it was seen it before, I'm not sure, that said it was either coxcomb or, or something. It is coxcomb. That, that is the flower. And if y'all watch my live, I say something like that. I say some weird-ass name. I don't even know what I said. Um, corkscrew, I think is what I said. That's corkscrew or something. No, it's coxcomb, and they are wildflowers. So they're very easy to find, and you literally just, if you get them... Like by seeds, you just plant them and the rain does everything. That's why they grow so well. You don't have to do shit to them. You just leave them alone. Um, so, and they are beautiful. Um, let's see. Put black pepper on them. Huh? No, blacks, you don't understand this dog. Now, Devious understands this dog because she's been on the phone with me before when I'll tell him no about something and then I pop him with the newspaper because he ain't listening and I come sit back down and what does he do? He jumps up here. Well, I, it's happened on live. He'll come up here and he'll jump on my back and bite my ponytail and snatch my head back and almost break my neck. Like he just don't care. He really don't care. And in his mind, if he messes with it and sneezes, he's going to figure out why he's sneezing and figure out a way to fix it so he don't sneeze anymore. 
Oh, I love spider lilies. The red ones, bad medicine. People call them weeds around here because they grow so abundantly. But people call them weeds. I'm not picking on him, Cecilian. I promise. He's just, I mean, bless him. You know, he's a puppy. And, and you know, he's going to be a puppy for a little while. But, damn, he's 70 pounds. I mean, I don't know what to do with a 70-pound puppy. It's not like a little chihuahua puppy. This is like a whole grown ass toddler puppy. Oh, I love tulips, uh, bad medicine. I do. I love them so much. So, so much. He's getting my attention. He's sitting right here next to me. He's right there. Maddie. Maddie. See? He gets mama's attention all the time. Trust and believe. With his little nubby tail. See it wagging? Oh, okay. And then, see? Oh, see, that's why. Cecilia, right there. Because he's been eating dirt. And now, oh my God. He gets up here, and I try to pet him and be nice. And guess what he does? Licks me all up in the face. It just, ugh. My God. Jeez. Sorry. That's what happens. I mean, I'm just trying to be honest here. <laughs> ugh. I got dirt in my eye. Hey, Tilly. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Yes, he's a big puppy. He's a very big puppy. Very big puppy. No, he don't. Bad medicine. It's not like he eats mouthfuls of it. Like, when he's licking his paws, like, he'll just start licking the dirt around him. He's like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'll go back to licking his paw. And then he'll, you know, he just gets dirt all up under his jowls because they have, like, these big jowls that hold things. I mean, I could find soggy dog food from two days ago under his flat, you know. Um, but, no, he don't come out here specifically, like, and eating dirt. Um, uh-uh, stop it. Because you know you can take me down, bro. No, Sophie lays him down, Sicilian. And and here's the thing is, I know for a fact it would take one swipe of his, his paw is as big as my hand, and I have man hands. But it would take one swipe of his paw, because she's only 48 pounds, y'all. But every time they're playing with each other, let's see if I can show y'all. He lets her take him down every time. See? She's like, oh, no, you don't either, bro. No. <laughs> she will get you if you mess with mama. She will get you if you mess with mama. She holds her own. See how much smaller she is? She don't play. She's like, boy, I will take you out. In a hot minute, I will take you out. No! Uh -uh. <laughs> Get him, so. Get him! Get him, mama! Get him, mama! Yeah, I shouldn't do that. That does rile her up a little bit, but no, you, oh, God, Jesus. But no, you can see how they interact. It's not a, uh, um, in a mean way, but I know he could literally take his paw and swipe one time and knock her over, but he don't do it. 
usually he's the one that falls on the ground and rolls over like, okay, he's dying. Yes. Like a baby playing in the dirt. Yes. Uh, Tilly, mine chewed the whole baby gate up. <laughs> I mean, there's no... Yeah, Cecilian. And I used to think she was big. But, you know, she was born with a birth defect. Uh, she was born with no nostrils. Uh, she was never meant to be our dog. Um, but the the people that were doing the breeding were just going to let her go, I guess. So at two weeks old, I went and got her. And that was on a Sunday. And I sat up with her all night holding her straight up with my hand on her like chin area so she could breathe through her mouth. Um, and Monday morning I took her in and they made her some nostrils and she had these little uh, straws sticking out of her nose for like eight or 10 weeks. And so that's why she's smaller. Uh, but I never looked at her as smaller. Cause I mean, 50 pounds is, that's a pretty heavy dog, you know? Um, but compared to him, it's like, <clears throat> okay, girl, <laughs> you teeny. Compared to him, you just keep running, don't you, little scaredy cat? You just running, running, running. He's going to come attack me and jump on my leg. Oh, Tilly, my greenhouse was made out of steel. And guess what? It's gone. It has been retired. I, I can I can show you that as well. There's greenhouse retired because he broke it. Stop it, sir. He broke all of it. So yeah, uh, it doesn't matter to him. Kong toys, <laughs> whatever they say about oh everlasting and long lasting. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. He'll tear a Kong toy up before I can even really like be like, hold on, let me put you another treat in there. Half of it's done chewed up. Stop it, sir. No. No. What? Okay, I'm taking your toy then. Go, get it. Another one over the toy. I know, isn't this just the greatest content on earth, y'all? I know it. I know it. I just know it. But, you know, I just wanted to get on here and share my joyful news about my grandbaby. And then also joyful news about this pitcher plant that just, she just ain't, she ain't looking you know, real good. Well, I mean, her leaves are, but that one cup is not looking too good. Oh, uh, let's see. What do you mean? Uh, Little tubes, thanks to Maverick. Oh, yeah, thanks to Maverick about the greenhouse. Yeah, that's why I don't have a greenhouse no more. He took that sucker out. Just he said, I don't even care no more. I'm going to knock it over and then I'm gonna chew the metal pipes that hold it up, and you're not gonna have it no more. Uh blacks, it's been inside. I've had her inside, like hanging in front of a window. So it can't be frostbite because I haven't had her outside. I bring her outside. Um, like I bring the other babies outside when, come on, so, you know, when it's uh, good and warm and sunny like it is today, I bring them outside, but because I live in Alabama, and you never know if it's going to be 91 degrees or 21 degrees, I don't leave them out all night. I bring them in. So... But, yeah, so she's been inside in front of a window. And, yes, y'all, uh, 
Lord, who was it? I seen a, a video. God, who was it? I don't think it was, uh, God, I don't want to say it because I don't remember if it was on YouTube or what. And I'm not trying to, y'all know I'm not trying to do all that. I'm just saying, uh, somebody was saying, uh, talk to your plants. It might have been, I don't remember where I seen it, y'all. Don't, I just, I don't. Um, no, Bucks, that's what I'm saying. Today, as you can see, she's, she's not in full sunlight. She's in filtered sunlight through these trees. Um, and I only bring her out, like I said, if it's like as hot as it is today. Now, these succulents, they got to have full sunlight, but not her. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's out growing her pot. Cause I haven't checked her roots cause I really just haven't had time. I need to dump her out and check her roots and see if they have circled the bottom. And if they have, that means yes, she needs a bigger pot. So, but I was watching something and somebody said, uh, somebody says, talk to your plants. I am not talking to a damn plant. What do I look like? Outside, oh, it was a, a video I watched. Do y'all remember that old lady? I think it was Jay Leno's show she used to go on. That old lady that would answer questions. Does anybody remember that? Anybody? Uh, it was, she was an older, older lady. And people would come on the screen and ask her dumb questions. And she was so funny. And she'd be like, you fool, I can't believe you'd even part your lips to say some dumb shit like that. Okay, well, it was her. I was watching her. Um, and a lady came on there and she said, hi, my name is so-and-so from so-and-so and I'm this, however old. Um, my sister told me to... Uh, talk to my plants and they grow better what's your thought on this and she said you a dumbass that's my thought on it is you a dumbass could you imagine just oh my god could you imagine somebody walking around their yard talking to plants how you doing today she said that's just the stupidest shit i've ever heard and I was like, oh, damn, because I talked to mine. <laughs> I talked to mine. I name them. They're a he or a her. Like, I name my shit. I talk to them. But good God almighty, that lady is so funny, y'all. If y'all don't know who I'm talking about, y'all got to find her. Uh, I think she has uh, passed away now. But I think it was the Jay Leno show she used to be on. So. Yeah, I talk to mine, too. I talk to mine all the time. But this old lady said, You a dumbass. Hi, how you doing? She said, How stupid do you look? <laughs> I'm like, Damn, okay. Just, all right, just spit it on out there now. I'd like I, I all y'all that are saying that I agree. Um, no, I don't wake up every morning and walk around and say good morning, you good morning, good morning, good morning. But <clears throat> at least once a day, if I'm checking their leaves or their roots or their soil to see if it's you know dry enough to water the succulents again or. If it's too wet, not because there have been times that I let the succulents out and a rainstorm come along that I didn't know anything about, um, and it just drenches them. So I will take out several handfuls of that uh, succulent soil and put it in another pot and put dry soil and mix it in there and replant it because I don't want it to get root rot. Um, but yeah, when I'm doing that during the day. I, when I check them, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you you feel you feel like you've got enough water. So if I'm wrong, let me know. You know, and then I'll say, now I'm gonna go up here and check on your sister or your brother because I do have one. 
uh, male. Uh, it's my African violet. He sits in my kitchen window. He is a male. Um, I think he's the only male I have. Um, I'm trying to, no, 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 no. The, uh, oh God, what, hold on. I got to look. The, 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 the red dragon flower one that we all picked. Hey, Granny E. Thank you for being here, honey. Uh, he's a male, the red dragon flower, because he's, he's tall and sturdy. And so I, I look at him as a male too. So I have two males. And all the rest are females because they're dainty or, you know, whatever. And Cruella is the fly-eating plant. Hey, Proud Army Mom. Thanks for being here. So, yeah, I talk to my plants. Uh, but y'all all know I'm a little on the crazy side anyway. So, it don't hurt my feelings if people say, something wrong with you. Well, might be. I don't know. But it brings me happiness, and it makes me smile, so, you know. No, Granny E, no. No, 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 no. It's so easy. It really is, I promise. I promise. You just, you have to have uh, the right soil, the right temperature, and the right uh, amount of water. Because you know what? And I don't know y'all can Google this because this is my own number I'm coming up with. I would say 80% of people that kill every plant they they try is overwatering. I, I would say that. I, I would truly say that. Or or not overwatering, but watering it like they're supposed to, but not having enough drainage, whether it be the holes in the bottom of the pot or the soil or whatever. Uh, but I would, that would be my number. I'd say 80 percent ish of people that that you know can't do a plan or whatever. It's overwatering because you think you're supposed to water it every single day, and that's not true. That's not true at all. Like. Here's the best way to think about it, okay? If you just say uh, you're growing irises and lilies and things like that that are outside plants, what makes them grow? Uh, the rain, the sun, all these things. So if you decide that you're going to try to grow one in a pot before you put it in the ground, you're going to have to treat it just like it would be outside. It doesn't need any more water, any more attention than you just put in the ground outside. And that's what a pop, a pop a lot of people. My gosh, y'all. Popologous. A popologous people don't understand. Like, you got to look at things that way. With ferns and things like that, when you bring them in for the winter, uh, remember during the summer what it took to keep it alive or how it flourished or whatever, you got to treat them the same. Uh, recently, I did my soil coconut mesh. Oh, yes, blacks. I used to have all tropicals, all except for my lantana. Lantana was not tropical. Uh, it was, uh, I think lantana is more of like a Louisiana, a Louisiana. God almighty Jesus. I almost said Louisiana. And I would have got clips or that. Oh, my Lord. Louisiana. I think it's more kind of in that area. Um, but it was beautiful. And it matched the colors of, like, my birds of paradise and all the other tropical things I had. Because I had the uh, sunburst. So it was yellow, pink, and orange yeah yellow pink and orange all on the lantana you know the the blooms so it matched all the tropical stuff that i had but yeah i had a lot of tropical plants yes louisiana baby hey uh oh make it make sense uh that is probably and i'm not even playing that is probably the easiest thing i've ever grown in my life 
because it grows. It's a vine, uh, but it it grows. It wraps around everything, but it grows wide too. And uh, when I say there could be two, three hundred flowers on it at a time, I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not bullshitting. Like it has that many flowers. Hey, two skulls. Oh yes, make it make sense. Uh, when when I get done with this, I'm gonna have to post a couple pictures because butterflies love zinnia too, and I love butterflies. I know I'm not a girly girl, but I do love butterflies. I think they're pretty. Um, but yeah, uh, you can grow anything. Anybody can grow anything. I mean, it's three things: it's the dirt, the water. In the sun. That's it. That's it. All right, Granny E. That, that, you just, for right now, all you do is leave it alone. That's it. Leave it alone. Hey, Life with Mommy. Thank you for being here. Sorry I didn't see you sooner. I get off on my tangents here, and I'm just like, mm. I start babbling on about something, and I'm sorry I didn't see you. Uh, I can't do any plants that bloom. What? Like, you know, my favorite monstrous is the Swiss cheese plant. Love the Swiss cheese plant. And I had two huge ones. And when I say huge, I mean they were at least seven feet tall and six, five, six feet wide. When my house burned down, they were on each side of my front door. And they they went on with fire. But I know it's a philodendron, I think. But they put it in the Monstera family. Uh, hey, make it make sense. I just got a Louisiana iris called a Gamecock. Uh, I think it's called Gamecock. Hang on, let me look. Let me look, because I don't want to lie to you. Uh, yes, Black Gamecock, Louisiana Iris. That's one of the things I ordered. So I'm going to see how it turns out. It is actually a Louisiana Iris, ma'am. You want the Swiss cheese plant? I mean, I can, I mean, like, I've said this so many times, and I hate I hate it because YouTube is a place where you just, it, it's hard to trust people. And I get that. Like, trust me, I do. But I wish people could trust others because there's so many of y'all that I want to send like cuttings of these succulents. And cause succulent is probably the easiest thing you're ever going to start out with. It's so easy. And you make thousands of babies off of it by doing nothing. I mean, it breaks off. You just throw it in dirt. However you want to throw it in there, that's how it roots. No shit. Um, but I do. I want to send people cuttings. And like blacks, I want to send you, uh, uh, you know, a Swiss cheese plant. But hey, Lori. It, it was a last minute thing. But um, somebody had mentioned the other day, I wish that you had like an intro or whatever. So I did an intro this time. And I think it fits with my personality. I think it fits with who I am. Um, yeah, so I have an intro on this video. Black, you just, you probably overwater them. Can I get $7? Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. Two skulls. We're 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 working on that though. We're working on that, right? We're working on that. You just you got. I know it's so embedded in us to water, 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 water. But with succulents, they are made of mostly water. You got to let them dry out. Like when you pick the pot up, it needs to feel like, oh shit, there ain't no water in there. Like it's dry as dust. That's what it needs to feel like before you water it again. Then you still don't 
saturated so much that it's like running out, running out, running out. You, as soon as you see it start to run out the bottom, you stop. And that's it. But it's so easy. It literally is so easy. It is, it is, it is. But, I mean, hey, you know, it's not like I just was born with this. I mean, my mama didn't teach me how to plant stuff. My granny taught me how to plant vegetables and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, you, you just have to learn. And, of course, like I said, our minds always go to if the soil looks dry on top, oh, my goodness, let me water this, water this, water this. Succulents are the opposite. They are literally the opposite. I mean, you got to think of them as desert plants. They're in the cactus family, okay? There's a lot of them, like the echeveria, the uh, chrysula. All those are in the cactus family. So think about that. Cactus can or cacti can survive in the desert full of sand, right? And they're full of what? Water. People eat the cactus to, to get water because they're made of water. That's how they survive. You, you just got to see it that way. Their soil needs to be pretty dry before you... Yes, two skulls, they are desert flowers. Uh, Sicilian, my succulents, I'll probably water them depending on how much I bring them outside right now because we still don't have stable spring weather because some days it might be hot and then tonight it might be 20 degrees and then they're all dead so until then um right now they get watered once a month once a month is when i water my succulents and once every two months it, so every other month i sprinkle the little uh like I, I don't count them out but i try to do like 10 little balls of the succulent food and then i water them for that month so they get watered once a month, and then they get their little food every other month. Look at you, Lori. Got roses blooming. Oh, my gosh. Yes, please do, because that's my plan. That's why I got two rose bushes here. I got a Dutcher rose, which is more of a bush rose has the little, you know, it, it'll climb and have little ones. And then I have the old bush rose, which I call dinner roses. You know, the ones that you can buy for like Valentine's Day and stuff. And my plan is to marry those two together um, and then get a couple more and marry those with that one, like I did at my old house, and and have a rose bush that produces 17 different damn roses, you know? Well, yeah, you can't forget about them two skulls, but, I mean, you know, and, and if anybody is uh, wondering about succulents, if you are like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm using the soil or whatever, but I can't go buy all this, like, succulent soil just made for it. Look, find some sand. Go to the, go to the park. Seriously and get you a baggie of sand and put it on the bottom and make sure you've got your drainage holes poked out, put some sand on the bottom. I promise you it will drain. I promise. No kidding. It will. Just snatch you a bag of sand from the park. She'll be like, here, 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 get in this bag. Yes, two skulls. I'm, that's what I'm saying. All succulents do the same thing. How do you think cacti get so huge? My granny had one that was, and I'm not bullshitting y'all. It was probably 30 feet wide, and it was way taller than me. But because it, it makes its own little babies. And when they drop off or fall off, they root themselves and make a whole nother plant. Why are you laughing at me, Cecilia, about taking the sand from the park? I mean, hell, you do what you got to do sometimes. It is what it is. 
Like, I mean, I'm not being ugly, but I donated to to them rebuilding the park, so I can I can take a baggie full of sand. I mean, it's all right. It ain't like I'm taking ducks or playground equipment or nothing like that. I'm just taking some sand. Just saying. <laughs> you know. But um, I, I, I said something the other day. I just thought about this because I want to, uh, you know, I always try to keep y'all updated on stuff. Y'all know that. Um, I mentioned my rose bushes and I said, this is not my forever home. So I'm trying to put them in big barrels or whatever. Um, as everybody knows, uh, the, the house that I live in is one that we own outright. We bought it for our, mainly for our older children when they got married and had kids so they could get a good start in life. Now I have to pay rent and things like that, save up their money. Um, well, we're going to sell this property, uh, with the land. Um, I'm just not happy here. You know, I, I, not to be ugly or ungrateful, I'm just not happy here. Um, and so I got to fix that. You know, I got to I gotta take charge of things that make me unhappy in my life or I'm never going to be happy, right? So that's just the way it is. I'm not happy, and I don't think any amount of uh psychiatry visits medications whatever are gonna make me happy if i'm unhappy where i'm at if that makes any sense to you guys um and i know a lot of people would say you, now you're telling too much about your life but you know it is what it is and everybody goes through stuff like that and you know i want this channel, I want the reason I, I I'm doing this channel is because I do want to be able to talk about things like that. Like people suffer with depression, people suffer with this and that, you know. Um, but I mean, the truth is, you can you can be put on whatever depression medication you want, but if you're unhappy, like in your life, in your life, where you're at, where you live, or you just, every day, you just dread being, you're never going to be better. You know what I mean? And so, it takes a lot to finally, finally get that. So, it's not that I'm ungrateful for the things that I have. It's that, you know, for me, I want to be the happiest version and the best version of me. And I don't think I can be that here. I don't. Yeah, make make it make sense. I, I don't. I don't. And that's the problem is I look at the same walls every day. And, you know, it, it's this sounds so bad when I say it. But there's a difference between like, okay get up and clean the house because you keep your house clean because you have kids and all this and then actually having pride in your home that there there's two to me that's two totally different things and yes i get up every day i clean my house i sweep i wipe my counters i wash the dishes i i, I we only have hardwood floors so i sweep but i have a little dirt double vacuum if i need it you know i mop i do all that kind of stuff so I make sure it's clean, but it's like I don't take pride in that. And I want to be content. I want to sit down one day after I clean my house and be like, I am so proud to look around right now. You know what I mean? And that may sound so bougie to some people or whatever. I don't mean it that way. I really don't. Um... It just is what it is. Hey, freaking. And, you know, I'll always be uh, up front and honest with y'all about how I feel about stuff. And that, that's the honest to God truth. 
So, sorry if I overshared. Um, yeah, Lori, there, there you go. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like this is home for me. And, you know, I, I, I need that in my life. I mean, I'm, uh, shit, I'm 40 something years old, y'all. It's either 45 or 46. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. But at this point in my life, I need contentment. I need to feel home. And, and, you know, when your world blows up, all of, literally, uh, all of a sudden, when you feel that contentment and home and all these things, it, it, I'm telling you now, even after this many years, it's been 2018, it's now 2024, like, is that six years? I don't know how many years it's been, but you know, I haven't felt that since, and it, it sucks, but I will feel it again, I just got to find that place that speaks to me like that, when I walk in, you know, if this ain't the most bougie statement, when I walk into a house, the first thing I look at is the kitchen, because that's my happy place, the kitchen is my happy place, so I look at the kitchen, I look around all the kitchen, all the cabinets, like everything that's in there. That's what I look at. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I love this. Living room may be a little smaller. Hey, that's fine with me. You know, it's just, I don't know. You just need to, in my opinion, within yourself, you need to feel that sense of home. And until you feel that, I just don't think that you'll ever really truly be as happy as you can possibly be. That's my opinion. Yes, yeah, Cecilia, and I sure am. Every one of them. I'm going to have them like, huh, 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 huh. yes, ma'am. Hold on, y'all. Hey, Jay. You ain't getting no more money. Bye. Boy, you can sit out here and say please all you want. All it's going to do is get you in trouble. So you need to stop. I don't care. What, Randall can't make you do nothing. You have operation of the buttons. Now stop. Oh, stop that. Uh, Period. Well, you got to learn to stop that. Please, no. I'm telling you now, you got to learn to stop that. No. I, just I said no. It's, and I'm not arguing with you. I'm not. It's literally $6. No, you just said 7 So you just told a whole lie. No, it's $5.99. What I need. Yeah, you said $7, son. Y'all yeah, hold on, because, hey, Gemini, thank you for being here. Go. Thank you. Well, Lori, I mean, you can stalk me. I mean, you know, I'm sure I've been accused of that a couple of times. Why, hell, I don't know. Well, thank you, Two Skulls. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I knew I wasn't. He said $7. And then it went to five ninety nine, And then it went to, Randall made me buy the wrong thing, which that's their friend. I'm like, uh, he can't make it. You had control of the buttons better get out of here with that shit because y'all his birthday is on the third so he does have a birthday coming up like two days after easter i think hell i don't even know if there's 30 or 31 days in this month 
either way, it's on the third. And so he thinks, like all of us play around on here, we're like, it's my birthday week. Well, he thinks it's his birthday month. And no, no. And devious can tell y'all, he's like that all the time. All the time. No bullshit. Exactly, Cecilian. It's my house. It's not my home. And I'm very thankful for my house. I'm very thankful for it. Please don't get me wrong. I am very thankful because there are so many people in this world that don't even have that. So I'm very thankful for my house. But it's not my home. It's really not my home. And I need to feel like something is my home. I, I just need that. That's why y'all see all my plants are in pots and stuff like that because I don't want to literally plant roots here because guess what? Then I'm going to have to dig them all up <laughs> and take them with me because I ain't staying here. The only reason the others stay is because my house burned down. Otherwise, <laughs> that would have came with me. Uh, we took a truck. Where'd my guest go? There she is. Okay. Just sitting here eating noodles. Give my nephew his money. Huh? Give him his money, okay? I sent it. You give it to him. Uh, no. Yes. I, I think you... I'm blocking you. You and your little box is enough. Okay. No. Okay. Give I mean, my nephew his. I'm blocking you. I'm going to block you. Well, then block me. I don't give a damn. Yep, give him his. It's seven dollars. Oh, I, I'm okay. sure. I can imagine. All right, guys. Earlier, okay. Does anybody in this chat remember when he came out earlier and asked, "Could he get seven bucks?" And I said, "Yeah, fine. Go ahead. Please, somebody tell me y'all remember it." What does he want it for? Uh, yes, Lori. He does. He has an Xbox. What does he have, D? What is that Xbox Series S or Series S? Yeah. S X, I don't know. One of them. Hey, one Sammy. Sorry, I was blowing Thank on my you noodles. Bad medicine. Say he already got seven bucks. Okay, and now he, he got fourteen. Out here he says Randall made him buy the wrong thing. <laughs> I love when he does that. Randall, Randall did it. So he, needs, <laughs> he said, "I need seven bucks," and then he jacked it down to six. And I said, "No, you said seven. He said it's five ninety nine. I just wanted the extra dollar." Oh, well, I mean, at least he admitted it, so I just gave him eight, so there's that. Mm, mm -mm. Tell Randall he has no control, okay? Aunt Diva said, hell no. Well, it ain't Randall's fault, D. I know. Dave Poor Randall. He's such a good kid. <laughs> I, know. I know, and he takes all that. You can hear Randall on the phone sometimes. He's like, D, you need to stop. Like, because you're, like... Your mom said no, and you heard her say no, and you need to stop. You can hear Randall on the phone when I'm on the phone with you. He's always trying his best because he don't want to. He get is sent such home. a good kid, right? He is a good kid. He don't <laughs> want to get sent home, so he's like, "Just do right, bro, so I can stay here." Like, you know, Randall be catching so, all that smoke though. <laughs> but he does. He catches the smoke. And he does. <laughs> he takes the blame for everything. And don't never say a word. Don't ever say a bad word. Like, no, nope. uh -uh, don't do that to me. He just stands there, like looking at the ground. He like, eats it. He does. That kid eats it, man. He, he eats it. He's just like, I can just get you know, up and, like, <laughs> Huh? I got tears in my eyes. Why did I picture him standing there like? <laughs> He go through his little That's temperature. That's how he control. does, with his hands in front of him <laughs> and his head down. His hands are just sitting in front of him and his head's down. He's like, I'm not going to say nothing. Yes, but also, not. Come on. Did you hear go about ahead. the new account going around that said they were being blamed from being mystery, but uh, from what I hear, nobody's blamed this person? Yeah, that's definitely her, y'all. Just be careful. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, had a, I had a good friend uh, send me a message to... Uh, 
give me a warning because I was not on at all yesterday because, you know, a baby nutsy came home yesterday. So I, I didn't have a clue. Oh, this awesome. person told me to go check it out. So I did. And I'm like, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm just. Yeah, that was weird. That. So, well, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. I really, really wanted questions answered from that that person but uh the when when she admit she like i guess she wanted kudos for admitting she was doing stolen valor you don't get kudos for that fuck no especially like all the people we lost you admitted now. It. that just makes you a piece of shit because you did it mm -hmm. don't make you a good person because you admitted you did it sorry not sorry make it make I'm sense you will love it i actually had time not last night the night before to do a little bit of diamond art but last night i came in late well not that late but 12 something so i was tired i went to sleep well i am trying to get started on one matt's already started on one did he Lori. i think matt's yeah i feel like he will one. love it oh he does he loves it um he's got the pins that pick up like four at a time now because the one he's doing he's like this is perfect because this whole brown right here i can do like four at a time and i'm like damn he knows more about it than i do <laughs> so you know what's crazy though like them ones even though i had them extensions i just can't i like to do one by one and it's just got it's a, the ocd in me yeah, gotta I, just have I it that way to one by yeah one. i can't do like but he his his mind can like do, you do that. Mine can't. I, I'm just like mm -mm, I can't do four at a time. I can't do, no. I can do one at a time. And I need a really bright light and a huge mm -hmm. thing that I can look through. Like I just need all of it because I'm. You might as well just. Hey, put on your mom. Girl, you know how blind I realized I was blind last night. I could not see the street sign in the dark. And usually I could see it. I put on my glasses and seen it. What is A-Govi? You mean way govi A-Govi. I don't take that shit no more. Hey, Granny E. Are you saying agave? Or are you asking agave, about that agave? Way govi way govi stuff. I don't know. See, I don't know. She I mean, gets off yeah, on that. I've been told. Mm. Uh, my, my doctor said, hey, you know, you could take it and lose some weight i'm like yeah but i don't think i want to be nauseous because being mm, nauseous it's makes so bad me, it, it makes me angry when i'm nauseous and dry haven it makes me mad starts with an a agave agave it's for migraines oh yeah mm -hmm. you know what <clears throat> oh okay my daughter well my mom gets migraines really bad she went through every medication now she gets botox and it helps her, but my daughter's dealing with the same thing, migraines, nonstop. Yeah, they get max halt, I guess because of his age, but he gets max halt. Yeah, you know what's crazy? When Once she turned a certain age, they were like, now we can actually try these medicines. I'm like, wow. So when they're young, they really can't yeah. do nothing. Like, it's yeah, bullshit. Exactly. And the max halt really does it. Uh, mm mm. Like he has to go lay with you know something over his face and the dark, no TV, no sound, no nothing, and yep. it still just barely cuts through it. So, Sammy, Is that woo -woo. Sophie, devious. What? Okay, read Sammy's comment. What do I take every day, devious? Every single day, all day long. Goodie powders. Uh, other than literally. That, Start Headache the medicine. Oh, dra Dramamine for nauseous every yeah. day. Every day. Every day, Sammy. I take two Dramamine. And yes, I love my goodie powders. <laughs> she does. <laughs> I seen them yesterday at um, Dollar General, but I didn't get them. Y'all make me want to go get them now. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I cannot with you. Well, I mean, it is who I am, you know. I am who I am. Make fun right. of that one, 
Ooh, I almost said her name. I almost said her name. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, it's who I am. Clip that and make fun of it. Lori said, tell him happy birthday from me. I love you, Lori. I really do. I, I'll tell him, but then he's gonna, ooh, then he's gonna say, oh, and then he'll wait about mm, seven minutes, and he'll come out here and say, hey, mom, since somebody told me happy birthday, can I get five more dollars? No, you cannot. I, I just, I sent you for 146 him. on Amazon. Oh, shit. Oh, you did Easter? Listen, I just sent it to him. You can get it no, to him. No, no, no. I, I did the Easter on Walmart delivery. This is his birthday stuff. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Like, damn, bro. Like, where do you think money comes from? Which I guess is my fault. Like, I'm not going to try to blame him. Like, he's just like, Mom, I added some stuff on Amazon. So I Look what Lori said. She sent him a digital oh, gift card. Lord. Lori. As if he should. Good. Now, listen. Give him his digital gift card. Give him the eight dollars I sent him, and I want to know what he he wants for his birthday. Tell him to look on Amazon, and tell me what he wants. And mom can't say shit about it. No, about I that? can tell you. He's, look, this child, Lori, you're gonna love this, by the way. This child, okay, for some reason, okay, and I say this because all of my older kids grew up with their dad being in the military and not being at home a lot their whole life. Now, the two younger boys, because he uh, retired in 2017, they were still, you know, before kindergarten when he retired. So they didn't really get the whole, you know, dad not being here thing. And even though two days after I gave birth to Matt, he had to leave for six weeks, like, Matt doesn't remember that. Stuff like that. So, but for some reason, my youngest son has inherently, he's obsessed with, like, everything Army. Everything Army. So, his whole entire, everything he put on Amazon, uh, when Army. he stuck his tablet last night when he went to sleep, it's all Army stuff. It's all, like, Army men and a, a mat that you can put them on and they're, they're fighting each other. There's tanks. There's like all of it. You know what I was just gonna say? I don't really uh, hear. No, um, that was my older. That was the twelve year old that said you look. He's dirty. amazing. I was gonna say something about him. I never hear him be like, "Can I get this or that?" I never ever hear him uh -uh. ever do that. Does he not? Never. He don't. But he uh, he didn't know I was. He's such a sweetheart, him. man. Davius can tell you if, if I say I want to record you and you say this, he's going to say no. So I just mm -hmm. have to do it secretly. And because he was like, she looks younger than you, mom. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> he said, I mean, like, you look 31 and she looks 30. I mean, but, but then again, mom, you know, uh, smokers have like more circles under their eyes. Like, he just went into all of it. Tell me why. Right. I, look I love older. that kid. I'm telling They're you, man. Worried. If he's I send something, he's honest. like, and he's so appreciative of everything. I mean, they both are, but he's like, I don't know. He's just like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say he's like, <laughs> uh, never mind. Shut he, up, he's Put the spoon overwhelmed in your mouth. The fact that somebody actually thought of him. That, that's yeah. what it is. To be that's honest. what gives it that and special I, I little. You know that mm hmm. It can be the littlest thing, y'all. Swear to God. The littlest thing in the world, and he is so appreciative. They both are, but he just, I don't, I don't want to say he's a little special, or I'm not going to say that, because I like them both. Yes. They're yes, both, he but he just he gives is. you that, he gives you, I don't know, he just gives you the feelings. When you know, you just well, know, he, you feel it. Yeah, and um, you know what he keeps the most are the little notes that come in the box. He has every Aww. single Every single Amazon note, every single note that you write, he has every single one of them. Every one of them. Oh, I love that because every time I do something, I definitely have to write a note. I'm a note person, so I'm like, 
Let me write a note. He rips the box open and he's like, ooh, 190 yeah. airheads. Yes. <laughs> All gone. Woo. Matt, goes, um, straight for, Matt digs through everything looking for the little white pieces of paper. That's the first thing he does every time. I'm glad I write notes all the time because that just made me happy. No, Lori. Uh, the, uh, well, he'll be 11 on the 3rd. So, yeah. True, already. I know. I know. And Matt will be a teenager this year. Yeah, right. Oh, man. I mean, like, he's, I'm, I'm, dead. I'm sorry. I already look at him. Like, he's mature as fuck. He really is. He, he speaks. Y'all would not, I'm, I'm being honest, y'all. Y'all would not think he was my kid. No, if you hear him speak, you would not think he's my kid. You'd be like, why does he speak so eloquently? Because he does. He doesn't speak Definitely does. like me. <laughs> he's douchey. I don't know why. Now, my he's... youngest son, he speaks just like me. Where did my wallet go? He's like, ma, 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 let me get that. Let me get that. But my 12-year-old, he is very eloquent in the way he speaks. And it's just, it is what it is. But you right, he's definitely he not Knox's. Is. I'm sorry, he's not their kid. Well, he so. is. I gave birth to him. I know he's mine, but he's just very eloquent in the way that. Ow! Two I skulls. Do you have to do what? Fucking huge ant. Oh Listen, God, what are you? But you just made me. Bleh. Two skulls. You got to do your needle yourself because I do my own needles all the time. You just got to watch what angle you put them in and how you put them in. I mean, you can smack them in. Who cares? But not to hurt. You just got to watch it. I miss you on a kid. Really, well, I'll send all my kids to you. Really? And Nux can send hers. You'll have six of them bad boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These two, like, y'all think they're bad when I'm live or on a panel. And y'all can hear them screaming at each other when I'm like, okay, I got to go, whatever. You should hear them on a phone call. You should hear them <laughs> on a phone call. No shit. You should hear him on the phone call. It sounds like uh, I I don't know. Uh, there's army tanks outside about to attack the household. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like a uh, shower curtain rods falling off. And yeah, have you talked to uh -huh. O by the way? Oh, she just texted me why I said that to you. Have you talked no, to this I child? Haven't. She went. Yet, I didn't. Today. She had a sleepover well, last and night, and then were, me and her were joking <laughs> hard. Bro, I, she was crying, laughing. I'm like, yo, because she be cutting up. She really does. And she was in the back seat, well, laughing. I told her she needs to put Peter to the side. Put Peter. She said, no, that's just tough love. I said, no, put him to the side. Uh, Get rid no. of Peter. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have Peter around than this new kid hanging around. Um, today, yeah. which is is the Yesterday was Good Friday. I explained that to them. Even though I let them follow whatever religion they want. But she sent me a picture this morning of, like, this devil thing. And I'm like, where are you at? Because you had a sleepover last night. Like, where are you at? She's like, oh, we went to this museum. And it's, like, vampires and devils. And I'm like, this is Easter weekend. Like, it blew my mind. I'm like, this is, what the hell are you doing? I said, you're going to hell. Girl, I, oh, uh-oh. Uh she better get her ass away from that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure she'll yes, show Lori. you. Lori, I didn't believe your age either at all. I, I, I don't know if I, I do. And I said, uh, <laughs> like, she just when I, was talking to Matt, I forgot I was recording, but I was talking about I was like, no, I ain't gonna believe it until she sent me a birth certificate or something because whatever, but that's fine because he kept just trying to explain why she looked younger than me. He was like, y You've had more kids, mom. And I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? And he was like, Man. well, I mean, you know, you have more kids, you have more stress, you have more bags under your eyes. <laughs> Our kids are be the only ones that chew us up. They will chew us up. He chewed me up and spit me the fuck out. He said, and, you know, being a smoker, mm, that causes more wrinkles and bags under your eyes, too. I'm like, what the, what? bruh and he was like no i don't mean it like that like okay if i had to say mom you look 31 and she looks 30 i'm like oh now you're trying to backpedal a little bit okay but i have this all on recording so you just already look, got to hear it you just look one year older that's it that's all uh -huh. 
Yeah, that was him backpedaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but then, then you hear him explain. Ask Laura. You hear him explain why he thinks she looks younger than me, and you can tell. Like it ain't one year. He's like, you know, you have more kids. You're, you know, a smoker has more bags under the eyes and wrinkles, and <laughs> like, damn, bro, damn, chewed yeah. you right up, chewing me up. <laughs> He's like, but you're my mom, and I love you. And I love everything about you. I don't care. And I'm like, mm, mm -hmm. backtrack on some of that stuff you said. Saying I have bags under my eyes and it's because I have more kids and I smoke and like, damn. Mm. That's how, for real though, that's how Elvis, she'll just chew you out without trying to. Like, that's just her personality. And it. that's why I was like, I'm kind of scared about this one because, but. We went in that day that y'all were talking. We went into um, ShopRite. I had to get sodas. And she's like, man, I love Nuxie. Then you hear Jay from the other end of the aisle. She's like, me too. And I was like, <laughs> yo, what? And she was telling me what was talking about. I was cracking up. I'm like, y'all wrong. <laughs> so fucking we wrong. were cutting up. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say about what on here, but we were cutting up. So yeah, I, she was telling me. She was laughing so hard. Oh, my God. I was like, what are you doing? And she was telling me, I'm like, y'all are wrong. No, we right. We we dead yeah, right. It is dead right. We dead but ass it's right. So wrong. That's why it's so funny. Because we dead <laughs> ass right. <laughs> That's why it's so funny. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but I had to send the Jim Carrey photo the next morning. I had uh, to. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, <laughs> I was like, this bitch, I'm sending this. First thing that I sent it, and she was like, Oh, no, no, oh my god, Jesus, because that is exactly who that is. <laughs> that Damn, little... yeah, it, it is, it was on point. But wait, Lori, let's backtrack a second. You were eight years old when JFK was assassinated. No, eight months old, eight months old. Sorry, I read that as eight, but what I don't believe it. I don't either, because I don't know. Uh, 64? Is that 64? She don't look nothing like that. That's like my stepmom. She does not look. My stepmom don't look nothing. She's about to be 60 next month. No. Mm -mm. May. She don't she look don't. shit like it. She really don't. Even though what are you like painting, bad medicine? Are you painting Easter eggs? Thank you, bad medicine. You have a happy Easter, too. Thank you for stopping by. Maybe I'll go live tonight. I, I know I've been over an hour on here, but you know, I, I just at this point, I don't care. Like I said, if there's two people or twenty or whatever, I mean, it just. That's I how I am. I don't care about the views. My, I don't. I don't either. Like I really don't. I really don't. I, I thought it was, and I'll be honest. Um, I thought it was sad that the. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, didn't I tell you video? this though? Didn't I tell you yeah, that? This you is what did. I talked to you uh, <laughs> behind the scenes. It's it's fucked up. Yeah. But. it is. I, I was just like, I, I'm. I, I mean, I, I'm so sad about that. And I real and I did say that, Davis. You can verify. I said I'm sad about that because, you know, I don't. I don't want it to be like that. I want it to be where. You know, like I can come on here and just chit chat, talk, talk about plants, farts, dogs, whatever the hell I talk about. If somebody's having a bad day, come in here, do what you do. But if mm -hmm. you speak on me, I'm going to respond. That's it. And no, I don't mean that in a drama way or whatever. But if you bring the drama to me, I'm not just going to sit here in silence and be like, well, it's OK. I'm, I'm not built that way. So mm -hmm. if you speak on me, I'm going to respond to you. And and if that's what kind of live it is, I will make sure I put that in the description. So anybody that don't want to hear it knows exactly what it's about. That's what that I'm glad I you said, got to experience it because I always try to express that to you. Like, and now that you got to feel it and see it and actually see it with your eyes, like, damn, this is fuck. This is a fucked up environment whatever you want to call it like yeah. it, it's fucked up it is because it's like and i don't mean this 
in an ugly way. And, and, and I'm sure I'll lose whatever. And it is what it is, but I'm going to say it. Like, you know, okay, how do I say this in a nice way without just being a complete bitch? But I, I have my, my, my few people that are, are mostly in every life. They come in, they listen to my bullshit, they laugh back and forth with me, you know, they listen to me cry, they listen to me talk about my plants, they listen to all the bullshit, you know, mm -hmm. um, so this is not meant for them, but it's sad when something like that comes up, and the thing is, you literally had asked me before the live, you were like, I just want to do a quick rundown for the people that I care about to let them know I meant no harm. And that's what you did because we were talking about something totally different when the bitch popped in. We were talking about yeah, we ball sliders and all that stuff. You did exactly <laughs> what you said you wanted to do until she popped in. Next thing I know, I'm looking down and I'm like, 900? What the hell is going on here? Mm-hmm. You know, Thomas. exactly, and that's not, if somebody subbed up to me because they think that's going to be the norm, then I appreciate you subbing up, but that's not going to be the norm. Mm -hmm. So if that's it, what you're expecting, it's not. And you see but it a lot. Like speaks on me, I'm going to address it. That's it. It, it just uh, and, and, it boggles my fucking mind. Hey, Black. Yeah. It just makes me sad. That's all. Because, you know. Let's give I, a shout out to Mary Andy. Mary Andy's meatballs were, I mean, the sliders, I got that recipe from her. They were amazing. My whole family loved them. Shout Absolutely out. 100%. Amazing. Shut up. 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 Oh, dude, you're, you'll get a kick out of this. When this is over, you got to go to the very beginning because somebody um, said in the chat, I wish you had like an intro so we had like, you know, a whatever. I made an intro. Did you? You did? I did. I did. Holy I made an shit. intro. I got to check it out. I have you a new one. I know you know, but nobody else knows. I got a new one. Yes, and I, we're waiting to see that though. <laughs> That's the point. I know. We need to see the new intro. We need you to go live. Like, hey, night before Easter, you don't be doing Easter baskets and shit like that. Tonight's the perfect night for you to go live. I mean, it is. Like, hello. I'm sure yeah, true. The true. Night. I didn't even think of that because listen, every year I go so big for Easter. This year I took it down a hundred percent. No, we're not going big. Mm -mm. I didn't. I didn't. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, cause as I was getting the things, just adding to the cart on the Walmart delivery, I was just <laughs> add, add. it hit me after I checked out, oh, B's birthday is on the third. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do this again. I did, you know what? I did the same thing. I went on Walmart and I was like, uh, I didn't get no, usually, usually my Easter shopping is done. I'm, I'm done. But I went in and just got, I didn't get a lot of things. I mean, not, I got four kids. I think it was like 96 items. Not that bad. Usually it's thousands of just bullshit. Not this year. But they delivered it to my door. Yeah. Literally 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I miss doing oh, Easter Lori. Lori said roll eyes as she talks about book club. Ma'am. You know what's so now funny, Lori? I'm not going to lie. Videos. The other day I was moving because, listen, I I just buy so much shit that I got boxes around my room, but I moved this one bag and I seen the book and I'm like, I didn't even finish that one. So I know me and you read the first one, right? The first, second, well, I don't even yes. know. Ain't there three we or two? The first and second one. Yeah. So that's what we got to do. Yes. But, uh, what I was going to say earlier, and this may offend some people. And if it does, I, I apologize right now, but what I can't understand in my brain is I see so many people say, almost word for word, I just, I'm so tired of the drama. I can't stand it no more. I can't do this. I can't, you know, I'm just, it's nice to have a break from the drama and all this. But then, 
you have something the first like ones the in there screaming. And it's like, all you people that are claiming you don't want drama no more, but I'll be damned if I don't have, I mean, fucking a thousand people in here watching this when it was never expected in the first place. Can I, can I say something about that live? I want to say this and I don't yes. mean it like, this ain't no, oh, that side, this side. I'm sick of that shit too. It was good to see other people that I actually like talk to Dally in the chat, like, and they were just, you know, it was, I don't think they were smart and shit. They were just telling us what was going on. And I was taking that in, like, mm -hmm. I just, it was nice to see all that. Like, I wish at some grounds they would be like, listen, you know, everybody just miss you mingle. Like, that would be a great goal. It's never going to happen. But, I mean, yep. it felt Very good. good. It, it, it looked good. Thank you, Nux, because I was just about to and say that's that. that's what I'm saying, Jim and I. I I'm not, I, I don't mean it toward any particular person. I'm just saying, like, you know, I had, I had so much fun. I have so much fun sitting over here with you guys, just like cutting up, talking about whatever's going on, you know, and I, whatever it may be. I don't care. And then, because people say, like, I'm so sick of the rinse and repeat and the drama, the drama, the drama. But the first time, which Devious can tell y'all, I know she didn't expect it, and I didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for that lady to come in my chat and then on my panel. That was not planned whatsoever. We were talking about fucking meatball slots. And somebody told me I, she was I wasn't chat. expecting it. I, I really you was know? not expecting that. And I was like, oh, okay, hold on. But all of y'all like, keep saying, like, we can't stand the drama no more. It's just become too much. Well, I'll be damned. Nah, I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Excuse me, Lord, you take your name in vain. And I apologize to y'all for doing that, too. But you know, first motherfucker dipping into it. Just saying. Like, damn. And and then I hear it's, somebody saying nobody has more right to cover her than me and fuck me for I never said you couldn't cover the lady. I don't know her. I never said I, I don't think I don't think you should. That's the cover thing her too. People it ain't, it ain't, I didn't say people that. run into chats and they, they make up a lie and then, you know, people they believe in their bullshit like no, we actually all were in this fucking on this channel and actually were just listening to each other because we needed to find out what was going on. Like I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know about this army, whatever. I didn't know full details. I didn't ever see like documented proof. So the way she explained stuff to me, I took it in like, okay. Maybe this was just like, I don't know, the way listen, that lady can twist some shit and have you believe in the craziest shit. Let's just say that. I'll just say that. So. I know, and, and what I'm saying is, I've never, nor would I ever say to anyone, oh, well, since she came on, I mean, come on, y'all, does that even sound like me to say, since she came on my panel, you shouldn't cover her. I don't even no. know the bitch. No. You, know, you wouldn't give a flying fuck. Like, I'm not telling you nobody, oh, I know her better than you. No, I fucking don't. I don't know shit about Look, I don't want to know her. I, listen, after hearing and seeing and listening to everybody else, I don't want to know shit about you no more. Nothing about you is real, so I really don't give a flying fuck. Exactly. Well, as soon as the stolen Balor thing happened, I do about yeah, I, I felt you. Because I know, I know people had questions still in the chat, but... I had to mute myself for about four minutes to breathe before I came back. And I tried really hard. I, I even came back and I was like, does anybody have any other questions for this lady? And then that was it. I was just like, no, no, you got to go. You, I'm sorry. You got to go because you don't fucking piss me off. I'm way Here's past the thing too. Off, and I'm Nux can tell you. I need you to go. We weren't expecting this at all. I literally jumped on panel and I told no. him, I was like, I'm just cooking dinner. I'm not like there's. If we, I'll explain a little bit. I wasn't expecting all that. So people were like, Jesus is making all this noise. Well, no shit. I was cooking dinner. And half of the time I was muted. So uh -huh. I wasn't like over speaking yes. her or nothing. I was muted. And she just <laughs> wanted to talk while we were talking or she wanted to 
run it to another place. It was a mess. She's a mess. Yeah, she is. And, and the thing is, is, you know, uh, and I'm sorry if you didn't want me to share that, but I already did when I said, you know, you and I had already talked before the live and you were like, listen, you know, um, uh, most of the, the people that are in your chat, you know, are in my chat too. So I want to come up there. Or if you don't mind, you know, I just want to come up there and give a quick explanation, you know, to the ones that, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. You know that, honey. And that's exactly what you did. You gave like a three or four minute explanation of this is not how it went down. This is how it went down. And then we were done talking about it when she popped in. I didn't know she was coming in. Davians didn't know she was coming in. It, it it just it it that's how it happened. But right, I had no idea. I, I, just, I was literally cooking just in my vibe because. Uh -uh. Yeah. But here's the thing: is I have never said to anyone, like, "Hey, uh, you." She came on my panel, so you can't cover her. I've never fucking said that to nobody or about any anybody. I don't know nothing about the lady. If you know everything about her, put it out. I don't care. Like, damn. Right. But respectfully, call me by my channel name. That's it. That's all I ask. Because I do the same in respect. I've never called you out of your channel name. So I'm asking with respect, you do the same. That's it. But I, That's what I mean. I feel like everybody should you cover didn't this. Say nothing about her. Or you don't know nothing about her. I didn't never say none of that shit. Come on now. It's it's ridiculous. Because then I have I hear other people like, oh, we've been put this out. We well, how? Listen, if I didn't know this, and I, supposedly she's been around for years, I don't know this. I came in here in 2022. Okay. I didn't That's know nothing about this lady. In 2021, I don't know shit about it. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Even be listen in twenty twenty two, I was still like dingling over with Molly and that whole Marvon case shit. I mm -hmm. wasn't no into drama and who was who. I didn't know any of that. Yep. Yeah, but I just wanted to make that clear here for for everybody that that is listening or watching. I've never said, "Oh, well, she came up on my panel, so you shouldn't talk about her." No, if y'all know. Whoever knows whatever about her, go ahead, do it. I don't. I still don't know shit about the lady. That's know. how I feel. When stuff like this and happens, is when the... she knows what she was told, and that's it. And she has right. a heart of gold, and she didn't want this lady to be bullied and picked on and all that shit. And that's it. Which there, it, there's no listen, but or and after that is it. After like sitting back and listening, like just me, just. Everything I talked about with my son, everything I talked about, like, personal life, she brought all that, like, to me as her life. So, you know, I get that feeling. I'm like, oh, shit, like, I've been through that, too. And I understand what you're going through. But then, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry. If anybody knows anything about her, this is when a community needs to come together to get somebody like that away. Because she's very, I don't know, that's some dangerous shit. Yep. If you can lie and do yeah. all this crazy shit, what? <laughs> You can do anything. Sorry. If you lie about little shit, then lie about a huge thing, telling people you're an army. Yeah, you literally can do you're anything. You're an army medic, and that you take it, like, I, I can't even go there. I, I just, I don't want to. Because that, that's, that's one thing. Because I know someone in my chat was MP, and a lot of times, MPs, um, <laughs> I'm not saying they do the same thing as medics, but they have to do both. And for her to claim to that when she really wasn't, and I just, I can't. I can't with that. I can't. Reap what you sow as if the baby's home. Yes, reap what you sow. Thank you for being here. He came home yesterday. Um, he will be home for approximately two months. Um, and I can, uh, I, I've been given permission, uh, to go ahead and say, um, 
he was supposed to have a kidney surgery when he was born, but because of everything that happened, they're trying to wait until he's three months old to have that surgery done. Um, so he'll be home for a couple months, but then he does have to go in uh, for a major surgery on both of his kidneys, and he will be back in for mm, as long as it takes for him to heal and be okay. And then he'll come back home. But for now, he is home. He is in his own bassinet. He's with his big sister, his mama, his daddy, everything. That's so, so good. Are you going to go see him? Yes. Um, hello. You know you better. I did yesterday, bitch. Hello. Aww. Why do you think I didn't text nobody or get on YouTube or nothing else? Oh, true, true. Well, yes, I, yeah, I was busy as hell yesterday. Hey, Bell Bell. I was Hi, all over the place yesterday. Just sleeping, working, hey, just hey. a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. But uh, he is, uh, oh my God, y'all. He's so freaking, like, he's, he's so beautiful. Like, I can't explain, like, how beautiful and flawless. Like, he's flawless. Which I know every grandparent's going to say that about their grandbaby, but mine really is, damn it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Everybody's grandbabies are beautiful. Mine's just a little more beautiful. That's all I'm going to say. That's what my mom always used to say that about all my kids. Oh, there. My grandkids are the best looking grandkids in the world. Yeah. Well, I mean, every, every mother and grandmother thinks that about their kids, you know. If my, except for my sister. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. My damn sister, when she had... Stop it! I let you in, and then you want to come out. So you need to figure it out. Okay, sir? Um, when she had her first daughter, she started she was crying. Thinking. Said, oh, my God! She looks like a turtle! Mm -hmm. Hey, wishful thinking! Wishful thinking pickle whisper. All right, got that. I'll be listening to uh, uh, wishful thinking. They she has a channel and it's just like it's an escape for me. That's where I escape to. Okay. Can you text that to me, please? Absolutely, will. I'm on my phone, Thank but you. I will once I get off. Um, reap what you sow. Um, no, they have an owlet for him, and they have everything that they need for him. It's just um. You know, I don't, I don't bring it up a lot on here because I don't want people to look at it. Stop the baby bark. Is I was gonna say, is um, that him? Yeah, he's doing baby it's bark. Not, it's now, not fitting his body. Way, he does big boy bark. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fitting his he's, body. He's talking. He's talking to the door like. <laughs> <laughs> he's too big for that yeah. little bark. I'm sorry. Well, that's his baby bark. Now, like I said, if somebody pulls up in the driveway, you'll hear his big boy bark. Like, <laughs> he's turning his head sideways, looking at me like, what are you saying, Mama? Mm -hmm. Mom, what you saying? Y'all watch this. <laughs> you say you're talking that shit? <laughs> he looked like he want to do something to you. <laughs> You say you playing with See me. See how he looks at me with his head cocked sideways. He's like, mm -hmm. "What are you doing, ma? Like, what are you doing for real?" But anyway, Reef, what you say? So, um, no, he has everything that uh, is needed for him to be home. It's just pretty much, uh, you know, just helping my son and daughter-in-law uh, through, you know, because uh, they never expected what happened. And so, um, you know, just making sure they have what they need food-wise. And then my my beautiful granddaughter, you know, making sure she has what, you know, she needs. Now, I'm um, going to come right back on. Zayden keeps calling me. Okay. All right. Um, but, yeah. Uh, okay, whisper, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Come on. Yeah, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, man. 
no, that was my husband, y'all. He he stays on Discord, by the way, just so y'all know. Um, I'm not really a Discorder person, but that's all he ever does. Paste chat. Did I do that right? Okay. She sure did, I said, because them mashed potatoes, I swear I ain't never heard a more loud uh, mashed potato making in my life. And I'm just being honest. Like, it sounded like she was just tearing the stove up. Lord Jesus. I'm, I'm sure you did. I would too. And I, oh, if I wasn't on live, I'd call him be like, look, bro. Stop. All right, well, I dropped a link for whoever said drop a link. Link, please. I'm trying to go back. Thank you, Dee, for doing that. Oh, you know what? I'm so, y'all just, I'm such a, y'all excuse my language, but I'm such a fucktard. I thought you meant drop the link for Whisper. <laughs> like, just they wanted to come up on the panel. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, help me. I'm still learning, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Oh, gee. Thank you, Blacks, for like tagging her because apparently I didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> I was like, here, here's the link. You can come on up, whisper. <laughs> y'all, excuse me. I mean, look, y'all already know I am not one of them uh, seasoned pros on this uh, these YouTube streets. <laughs> Stop it. I just let you in and then you bark to get out and I let you back out. Now stop. Please, sir. Go get your toy. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Oh, I got your toy. Go get it. Oh my God. Don't jump so high. Yeah, I'm a season pro at something, just not this. <laughs> Maybe one thing. Oh, he, she's going to make her icy. That's supposed to be for the kids, but whatever. Will Cecilian thank him for his service, please? Um, and yeah, I um, I told uh Lori today, um. Because I, I do, I did want to give you all a personal apology because, yeah, I I'm, I use swear words on here, I do, but that person made me so angry that I think I used a lot of swear words, and I felt bad because I know that people had questions for her, but I couldn't because I knew, I just knew that it would go the wrong way. Yes, Sicilian. It is. It it absolutely is. Um, but uh, you know, and and Lori had said, you know, you you were a lot more uh, put together than I would have been. Because here's the thing: the reason I say it is not just for my husband. It's for people like. Lori and you know her family members, uh, Sicilian's family members, anybody's family members that have been in the military and served this country and have been deployed, and even if they haven't been deployed, they sign up knowing that they may be deployed and have to fight for our country. And I just, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can't be unmad about that, like to the point where. I thought I was going to pass out because my face got so hot. 
Hey, Julie A. Thank you for being here. Thank you, proud Army mom. Um, I, I, I tried really hard because I knew people wanted questions asked. But, you know, after I muted and took a few breaths and tried to come back and say, does anybody else have questions? I, it just didn't work out. It didn't. Uh, sure, Julie, it is. Oh, watch it, buddy. Be careful. In heart. Oh, it was oh, it came out of time. There we go. There you go. Yeah, so it, it's not, it wasn't just about, um, like my husband or it was about everybody in this chat or in that chat that had children, grandchildren, grandparents, parents, you know, all of them that, that fought for this country. And you want to go around uh, like, I, I'm not going to get into it. Y'all I'm, I'm really not, but that that's what had me to the highest level of, uh, Pissedness, and yes, I know that's not a word. Just FYI, if it gets clipped or whatever, I know oftedness is not a word, but I just made it one because I wanted to. Yes, make it make sense. I did, and that was one of my um, th that that was a limit for me right there. That was a limit for me. I couldn't, um, I, I just couldn't get past it. I couldn't. Yes, I was talking about Lori, but uh, again, I don't, y'all know I am. I'm not going to put nobody's name out. I'm just going to say a friend of mine or something like that. Um, I, I just, I don't do that kind of stuff. <laughs> Happy Easter to you, Reese. Yeah, there, there's uh, my my grandfather was in the Navy, um, and I'm trying to figure out from my aunt because he the, he served in two wars, y'all, and I know. I want to say I know, but then I, if I'm wrong, I don't want to look stupid. One was Vietnam, but I want to say Korea at the same time. So I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, wishful. It it was it just was not a. I mean, and I and I, I'll say this: I didn't listen to what others were saying. I asked her the question myself. Uh, were you ever in the military? And she said, no. And I said, did you ever claim you were in the military as a medic? And she said, yes, I did. I said, but you were never in the military. And she said, no. And that was it. Like, that was it. So it wasn't that I listened to anyone. I asked her myself. So... You know, um, once once that happened, it was just it was kind of downhill from there. It was. Yep, Lori. Yeah, it, it's, you know, um, and a couple of my now B, my youngest will be 11 on the third same day as Cecilian um she's not gonna be 11 I'm just saying like they have the same birthday but she's not gonna be 11 I don't know she might be 40 maybe I don't know um you never ask a woman her age but I I don't know I just kept feeling like she's 40 but then again obviously I'm not good with it so um but uh I think he will be the one, he's going to be a full-on army 
uh, anything that he can do in the army, he's going to do, you know, uh, just like his dad, like airborne ranger. He's going to do airborne ranger. He's going to do all that. And it, it scares the bejesus out of me. It really does. Yeah, wishful. And it was straight up stolen ballot. She she claimed all these stories. And I think it was freaking who who said, you know, that she said she was an army medic and that she was had to take care of wounded soldiers and all this stuff and and I'm just listening, and then when I ask her, and uh, I mean, that was just kind of it. You know how you kind of see black for a minute, and you're like, no, this bitch just didn't. And that's just kind of how it happened. You know, I, 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 I just couldn't. Like I said, I ain't built for this uh, platform for like stuff like that. I'm not built for it because I just can't. You know what I mean? So, again, I apologize that everybody didn't get their questions answered. I should have been less selfish. But when my questions were answered, I was done. So, you know how dry my hands are? <laughs> yeah, my hands are dry. They're dry as hell. I need some of that working hands lotion. Oh, Lord. If I showed y'all my hands right now, working in this dirt and stuff out here, mm -mm, it might look like another uh, clip or screenshot that I seen earlier today. I'm just saying. Because mm -mm. they look a hot ass mess. Mm -mm. Yep. Well, and and to be fair, Lori, you know, I never had to uh, actually really serve. I joined, and I was in for nine months. Um. Uh, and my uh, MOS was medical specialist, but I couldn't remember the number um and then i was pdq'd for being put on uh anxiety medication which was prozac at the time um which was devastating to me i mean i was devastated beyond belief um but i know what mos stands for and i know like if you were to say what was your mos i would say medical specialist but I wouldn't say like 81 Bravo because I don't know if it's 81 Bravo. I don't know. You know what I mean? But if you would have asked me what my MOS was, I would have said medical specialist because that was my MOS. I couldn't give you the number, but I know what that fucking is. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know. Yes, I, I know what an MOS is. I do. I absolutely do. Because I actually had one. <laughs> Happy Easter to you two blacks. Thank you for being here, honey. I'm about to hop off. I know I've kept everybody for so long, but I'm just hanging out and chilling and talking. Yes, yeah, Sammy. And that's what I'm saying. Uh -uh. Back it up, homie. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Yes, happy Easter to everyone. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, Hey, I got the Bravo part right, didn't I? <laughs> so... Hey, I was good on that. Uh, Maverick, stop, buddy. Come on. And Sophie, why are you breathing hard, Mama? All right, move. Move. Mama's about to get done. Move. Love you, freaking. 
All right, guys. Um, if y'all don't do anything else, please, please, I'm begging you, rewind this to the very beginning. It'll only take you 25, 30 seconds to watch the intro. And then I want comments under this live. I want comments about my new intro. Um, and as always, please hit the thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever you prefer. Um, love seeing y'all's comments, no matter what they're about. I just love reading them. So they're always welcome. Um, I hope everyone has a happy, happy Easter um, and a, a very wonderful rest of your weekend. Oh, I got a new bird nest. Sorry, squirrel. Squirrel. Um, I won't, Lori. I won't. But uh, yeah. So y'all, y'all make sure you uh, give me uh, your opinion on my new intro, and then uh, just leave whatever comments you want. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all good. Um, again, I hope y'all have a wonderful Saturday and a happy Easter tomorrow. And I love every one of you, and I appreciate every one of you for coming in here and listening to my bullshit for the last however long it's been, okay? Hey, Derek, I'm sorry we're, we're getting off now, but good afternoon to you and happy Easter. All right, guys, love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.